Hello everyone, this is Ma'am Amano and this lecture video is all about theories about the origin of the solar system. So first let's define what is the solar system. Solar system from the word itself system, it means uh, organized formation. And then solar, it means sun, meaning to say this is the system of the sun or the sun's family. This involves or consists the sun, the planets, and the comets, meteorites, among other heavenly or cosmological bodies. So our solar system consists of an average star we call the sun and the planets. It includes the satellites of the planets, which means the moon, natural satellite, the numerous comets, asteroids, and meteorites, and the interplanetary medium. So the age of our solar system is 4.571 billion years. The first theory that we will be discussing is the theory of vortices. Theory of vortices postulated that the space was entirely filled with matter in various states, whirling about the sun like a vortex. So yung pag-ikot niya ay parang kapag maglalaro ka ng turumpo. It's like a top. Yung turumpo, yung ikot niya. And then, yung ikot na yon, ito, parang siyang turumpo. Yung ikot na yan, ha, while it swirls, or whirls, ay nagka-create ng orbit kung saan makakapture, makakapture yung mga uh, cosmological bodies and then forming the solar system. This idea was proposed by René Descartes. He invented this theory in the mid-1600s. He explained that once the particles in the universe began to move, the overall motion would have been circular because there is no void in nature. According to him, the path of the orbit is circular. But today, the uh, according to study, the path of the orbit is uh, oblate spheroid instead of perfect circle. So this is René Descartes. Then, the second theory, the most accepted or widely accepted uh, theory regarding how our solar system was formed is the nebular hypothesis. In this theory, thin, dim clouds of dust and gas out in the cosmos would collapse in on themselves under the force of gravity. So, nebula, from the term nebula, nebula means clouds of dust and gases. So, yung clouds of dust and gases na yan, nag-ikot-ikot hanggang nag-collapse siya into the center, forming the sun. And then, the rest will form an orbit for the planets. So, the nebular theory was proposed by Immanuel Kant. Next theory, we have the Laplace nebular theory. It is a theory that states a slowly rotating nebula. Again, nebula is a cloud of fast gas and dust that collapse under gravity, forming an oblate spheroid due to the increase in its spin rates. So, the difference of Laplace nebular theory is that the formation of the orbit is due to the spin rate and not due to the collapse. So this theory was proposed by Pierre Simon Laplace. He is a French mathematician who proposed the idea in the year of 1700. Next theory is the Leclerc Buffon idea proposed by George Louis Leclerc and Comte de Buffon, who conceived the idea that the comet collided with the sun, sending matter off to form the planets. So for example, this is the sun and this is the comet that will strike the sun collided, and then nagara na outgassing at inatawag outgassing. Ibig sabihin, this is the release of gases and particles since comets contain water and uh, sun consists of hot gases. So, when that happened, there is a release of icy particles and other debris from the comet because it also composed of rocks and uh, ice. So, the particles from the outgassing from the collision of the sun and the comet formed the particles that needed for the formation of the planets. Next, for the chemical composition analysis, it was Harold Urey who initially studied the meteorites and their chemical analysis. He concluded that meteorites contain matter that has changed very little in the early history of the solar system. These findings set a new trend in the understanding the solar system, whose origin can be based on its chemical composition. So, yung era na to, ito na yung nag-base na sila sa chemical composition when it comes to studying the meteorites. Nagahanap sila ng meteorites from distant part of the solar system and then they will analyze its composition and compare it to another meteorites. Next, we have here the sixth uh, theory. We have the Solar Nebular Disk Model or SNDM. It was developed by Soviet astronomer Viktor Safronov. According to this model, our star system was formed 4.568 billion years ago when a small part of a giant molecular cloud experienced a gravitational collapse. So this finding is nearer to the approximated present age of the solar system. So this model, instead of formation of the universe from the uh, nebula, it was formed from a giant molecular cloud, then forming a gravitational collapse, therefore attracting uh, smaller heavenly objects or cosmological objects into its orbit. So that is the model all about. So that is all for the theories behind the origin of the solar system.